Now, Knight Down in Thunder Bay's business community, Donato's Bakery, is headed to the Royal Ontario Fair. They're going to be showcasing their sauce and their preserves with this well-known Thunder Bay company. Here's the story. We're at Donato's Bakery, and we're finding out a little history about what is the business all about. How long has the company been around? It was 26 years ago in September. And you've got recipes that go back how far? Well over 100 years from my grandmother. You're going to be at the Royal Fair in Ontario? We're going to be at the Royal Fair in Ontario starting November 1st to uh, the, a week, I believe it is. So you get a, a trip out of this, but you also get to share your delicious the, food with the rest the, of Our Ontario. sauces, we're bringing our sauces for locally grown and Ontario products. The, uh, the family business, how important are good family businesses? To it's very important. And I, I think that it goes a long way. A, a lot of people shop here because it's locally owned and it's a uh, family business. Thank you. Hey, it's James with Net News Ledger, and we're joined by a special guest by phone today, but from a business that probably most people in Thunder Bay know. David Bruno from Donato's, welcome to Net News Ledger. Thank you so much, James. It's a pleasure to be with you. So you're in Montreal today, but you have some exciting news to share. I, I, I am currently in Montreal, but I'll be uh, I'll be in Toronto this evening, uh, as ready for November first. We are very excited to attend our first the Royal Trade Show uh, in Toronto, which is the, the biggest in the country, and it's showcasing preserves. So we'll be there showcasing our our newly our newly old recipe tomato sauce, our marinara sauce. So we're very, very fortunate. Now, Donato's has become almost like the place in Thunder Bay. You drive by, get a slice of pizza, you get great preserves, amazing uh, pizza dough to take home, and, and fantastic baked goods. The move into preserves, how long has that been happening? Well, you know, it, it, I, I'm glad you asked that question. We, we've been making, uh, if going back even to my great-grandmother, we've been making the same sauce for generations. And this is the same sauce that we use on pasta and the same one that we put on the pizzas. And we were selling it in, in, in store, uh, in our, our refrigerator, uh, in a plastic container for many, many years until finally it just occurred to us, well, why are we doing it that way? Why don't we just put it into a jar like our grandmother used to do it for, for herself, for, for the family. So we started jarring it two years ago and it really took off after that ever since. So. We've been we've been really really happy and fortunate with the the sales and the promotion of our marinara sauce going right back to, in five generations. So this is this is a piece of family history and Thunder Bay history that now is going to a wider market. That is correct. Yeah, we we never really imagined to to, to make it this far or to take it that far, but we've always considered ourselves a traditional mom and pop place where we have absolutely no preservatives, and for that reason. We, we recognize and we celebrate we have no shelf life. That, that's what makes a no preservative healthy and, uh, and good for, for everybody to eat. I mean, just look at nowadays, if you grab any kind of the, the labels, you'll have ingredients that you can't even pronounce. So taking away from that, you know, we always thought that we would always stay local until we realized, you know, our jarred tomato sauce isn't non-perishable. So we started promoting it that way and it's been it's been taking off ever since, and we're so happy. So, at the fair, what's happening? What do our readers and viewers need to know? Okay, so uh, I'm glad you asked the question. So, it, it, thanks to Metro's involvement. So, Metro has a new program, and they really are catching on to a, a, a trend across the country where people really want to know where their food comes from, and they'd rather buy local. So, Metro catching on with this, and I do have to doff my cap to them, for that, they have gone around to local markets around Ontario and have asked participants to showcase their, their products. So that's how we got into to Metro. Then further to that, Metro also showcases itself and its, uh, its local suppliers at the Royal. So we were fortunate to be asked by Metro to come down to Toronto with them and join them at their booth. So that, that's really how this came to pass. This is exciting stuff. Thunder Bay just keeps having these little things that we can take for granted that we're starting to share across the globe, basically, as we start moving forward. No, I, I, 
I couldn't agree more. I mean, I, I've always seen Thunder Bay as, a, as an international place. I mean, I was born of immigrant parents. We, we would travel quite a bit. I would find ingredients with my late father, rest his soul. Uh, in Italy, we'd find, for example, going to the hills and get very rare uh, black aniseeds that you can only you can only get handpicked in the hills of Calabria. So, you know, we, the, it was something we, we just always did. We never really occurred to us to celebrate it until, you know, now, uh, as things get better and bigger, it's wonderful to see, first and foremost, these larger companies really catching on on what people want. You know, I, I, I'm always comparing it to, for example, the Walmarts that don't really care where it comes from. Just get it onto the shelf, super cheap. But the trend now is, you know, I'll find, even for my generation, they'll pay a bit more to make sure that they know where it comes from and that it's healthy. Couldn't agree more. David, thank you for tuning in. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks.